We have a particle moving along the curve y equals square root of x. As the particle passes through the point 42, its x coordinate increases at a rate of 3 centimeters per second. How fast is the distance from the particle to the origin changing at that instant? Okay, to begin, let's draw the graph. So we know that the graph of root x looks like this. So my particle I'll situate right here. <clears throat> and we know from the information here that its x-coordinate increases at a rate of 3 centimeters per second. So that means that we know dx dt equals 3. And we're asked a question about how fast the distance from the particle to the origin is changing at the, at the instant that it's passing through the point 42. So a couple of things I think I'll do here. One thing is that I'll, I'll label this point here x comma root x because it, it's, on the, it's on the curve, so that's its y-coordinate. We also know that we in, we're interested in the rate of change of this length, right? If you look at the description, just make that a little bigger. If you look at the description here, it says how fast is the distance from the particle to the origin changing at this instant? So that needs to be a variable too. I'm gonna to call that z. Okay, so we need a relationship between the variables here in question. Now, I think what I'll do is I'll draw this triangle here because this distance is just the x-coordinate of the point and this distance here is just the y-coordinate of the point. Now I could label that y but since it's on the curve that also means it's root x. So the relationship I want between these variables is just the Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus root x squared equals z squared Okay, those are the variables I, I mean, look, there's only, we're given information about how x is changing and we're interested in, in and how z is changing, so this relationship should do it for us. So this means x squared plus x equals z squared. And let's just go back to what we want. In calculus terms, we want dz dt now at this is instant is at the instant that the particle passes through the point 42. So that's uh, that's another way of just saying when our coordinates are four comma two. So going back to our equation here, we want to take the derivative of both sides with respect to time. So the derivative of x squared is two x times dx dt plus the derivative of x is just 1 times dx dt and that equals 2z times dz dt. Now again we want we want this right so um, that means everything else should we should be able to substitute the values in. Now we we were, at this instant uh, the x coordinate is four, so we can plug that in for uh, for x. We know dx dt is three, so we'll plug that in for dx dt, and that but that still still leaves this z here. So in order to find that, we're going to analyze this triangle at the moment in question. So. When uh, the particle's at the point 4, 2, the triangle looks like this. So that's 4, that's 2, and by the Pythagorean theorem, this is root 20. So that's our z. So now I've got everything I need, so I'll just plug the values in. 2 times 4, dx dt is 3 plus another 3 
equals 2 root 20 times dz dt. And now the rest of the problem just hinge, hinges on your algebra. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, so this becomes 824 plus so it's 27 equals 2 root 20 times dz dt. And dividing both sides by by 2 root 20, we get dz dt is equal to 27 divided by 2 root 20. And that gives you 3.0, about 3.02. centimeters per second.